Kyle Kuzma dropping 41 points in three quarters, the fifth player in the NBA with at least 40 points through three quarters the season. But here is the real question, Max Kellerman. Should yeah. the Lake Show consider trading Kuzma for another star to go join the King? Unf unfortunately, they have to consider it. They have to consider it. And before I even talk about Kyle Kuzma, the name that comes to mind is Paul George. What a miss for the Lakers. I mean, listen, you get LeBron James in an offseason, how much can you complain? But there was a strong sense that the Lakers could get Paul George. He's from the area, and people were talking about it. And when he re-signed with Oklahoma City, and you look at the way he's playing now, and you see the cracks in the Warriors, and you say, boy, if Paul George was on the Lakers, they'd have that other superstar. It'd be more enticing for yet a third star to come and join, and they wouldn't have had to give up any of their young talent. They missed on Paul George. There's no guarantee, far from a guarantee, Kawhi gets, winds up going to L.A. There's far from a guarantee that KD Pause. winds up going to L.A. Pause about your point. What do you mean they missed if he elected? Because I know that they had a chance earlier, like uh, right. earlier, to trade for him. So what do right. you mean they missed? Because are you saying they should have traded for him? No. Because he chose to go in the free agency. Right. He chose right. to stay in OKC. That's right. They okay. needed to win that. They needed to sign okay. him. Right. The whole point with the Lakers, with that young core is, no, no, don't make the trade. Don't trade the young talent because they're all on rookie deals. Mm -hmm. This is when you can take in two max deals to play alongside LeBron and then have your guys blossom, the young mm -hmm. guys, See who you want to keep, see who you want to trade. That's how you make an unbeatable super team, right? But when they didn't get Paul George through free agency, like that's off the table, and Kawhi is far from certain. It looks like a lot of people think he won't wind up with the Lakers. Same thing with KD. Now you can't do that anymore. You can't simply make a plan that we're going to sign another max free agent to play alongside LeBron and let these young guys develop all around them, maybe even sign two more. No. Now you got to go out and you're going to have to make a trade. So the question is, can you get away with keeping Kuzma and trading other pieces? Because Kuzma is the second best player on the team right now. Offense, obviously, I know Tatum's not playing well. I wouldn't call him a poor man's Tatum. I call him a middle class man's Tatum. I still think that Tatum will be better than Kuzma, just strictly offensively. But Kuzma's having a very good season offensively, and he's improving defensively, and there's a lot of room for him to improve defensively. So you'd like to keep Kuzma as the second-best player. But the old expression is you got to bring it to get it. And it's not like they're going to trade for another star without giving another team something they want. And when you look at the Lakers right now, what are other teams going to want? They're going to have to consider it. I think to win a championship, you have to have that third-level player, that number three option. That's formidable. He might not be an all-star or whatever, but he's somebody that can get the job done for you. If I'm the Lakers, I do everything that I can to hold on to Kuzma for dear life, no matter what. Okay, that's how I look at it. Because even if you acquired Anthony Davis, for example, but you gave up everything for him, and it was just LeBron and Anthony Davis, I still don't think that does it for you. I think you have to hold on to a Kuzma. I've been on this tip for a long time. I, to, to hold on to Kuzma for dear life. Of course, he's not Anthony Davis. Of course, if you have to choose between the two, you're thinking Anthony Davis. But I'm saying Magic Johnson should have held on to him for dear, should hold on to him for dear life. I will tell you this: when we talk about the Lakers. I don't view Paul George as a miss. I view OKC as a game because that man loves himself some Russell Westbrook. And this, at Indiana made sure to derail the move to L.A. because, remember, they didn't like the fact that L.A. and Magic with the wink-wink and Jimmy Kimmel and all of that stuff was talking about Paul George and others possibly coming out to L.A. And, and the, the Indiana Pacers raised holy hell about that stuff. That got in the way. Ultimately, the trade went to OKC, and, that, and we see what has happened from that point forward. So I don't view it as a miss. I view it as OKC and particularly Russell Westbrook doing what he did to ingratiate himself with Paul George. All I would say to you is this. I'm looking around the NBA landscape, and as big time as I see Anthony Davis is, I think you can, do, you can find a sucker every day. And if, if, if Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, or I, I'm trade the farm. For who? Do everything. I, I'm saying for anybody. Do anything But what you I'm can saying, this is what I'm saying. On I, do, I absolutely see Paul George as a miss because you needed to be able to sign, without giving up young talent, mm -hmm. another top-level, almost MVP in Paul well, George's guess, case, yeah. free agent to put with LeBron. Mm -hmm. And then you may have to either sign another guy, keep your talent, or trade young talent for right. yet another but guy. But you look at that as a big mistake I'm for saying Magic. This. I think Magic's biggest mistake was drafting Lonzo Okay, Hall. fine. Yeah, for De'Aaron right. Fox. We're, we're on right. the same right. page there, obviously. Right. I mean, look how it's turned out. Yeah. Now, but, but this is what I'm saying, Stephen A. You want to hold on for, to Kuzma for dear life? I like Kuzma a lot. He's not impossible to find. You can find guys like that. 
AD is impossible to find. Like, if you have a chance to get – so who do you want to join LeBron? Anthony you, Davis. Okay, not, how do you get Anthony Davis without getting, well, giving up Kuzma unless because, you want to wait for free agency? Anthony, well, that's true. And the point is, but you're going to have to wait until next summer at the very least, okay, because New Orleans ain't going right. to do anything before then. So since you're going into next summer, right, and you've got just the following season before Anthony Davis leaves – now Anthony Davis is in a position to like force their hand because at the end of the day, you know, you're going to lose me for nothing. And, you know, as a lot of people, if I sit up there and I make a, a whole bunch of noise about where I'm going and I dissuade other teams from even thinking about trading me, now I've pinched you if you're the New Orleans Pelicans. And so to me, it's still possible that if you're Anthony Davis, you can pull off a deal. You can help facilitate pulling off a deal, rather, that could potentially land you if, in L.A. If a Damian Lillard, for example, or a Kemba Walker, I'm thinking of guys not top five players, but sick, offensively skilled all-stars, right? Yes, right? If a guy like that's available, you ain't getting him for Lonzo Ball or Brandon Ingram that's at this true. point. That's You're true. going to have to bring it if you want to get it. Th or that's you can why, get another team involved. That's why, or you get another team involved. Even if you got another team involved, I'm right. saying the weight in terms of trade value of Ingram and oh, yeah, Lonzo yeah, no, ain't going to be no enough. Question. No that's question. why I'm saying Paul George was a miss. Once you weren't able to sign that second banana for LeBron – now you're probably going to have to move young talent. And to, I guess the way I'm looking at it is that when you draft Lonzo Ball, if you had drafted somebody better, then the need for Kuzma wouldn't be such, of such or, or better than D'Angelo Russell. There you go. Or, you better, go. or even well, better than Brandon Ingram. That's not magic. Magic That's is right. Lonzo. That's right. Magic is Lonzo.